kubor na kashlem jong unong san hima. Unong yalam galiang persa o Dr. Mukul Sangma hindi kasmi ulaong. Ni yo i ya bon ki jingjia ha po kini ka sarkar ke bala ja ha kleng saudong ha ka ba ki kamsne ba bon ki ja bat ki ailat ban petri ban wanra ya ka shongsuk shongsan ka de ka kamram jong ka sarkar ha e ka jingsuk menta kala pet ula ong ba kam shimla shimpor i ki pat ba ban yo i ba ka de ka sarkar kam ler kam ki la thok i ki pat ba ka jilla ladang i kren halor ka tenat pulit na kapor se kapor ngila dep kren bangim dei ban le politik da ka ba pun kirki na ka wei ka jaka sha ka wei pat amna ka benta ka jing minto e jong ki pat ba henrei ka jing minto e jong no re jong no shisho doktor mukul sangma ula ong ba na kapor se kapor ula dawa ban thung da ka kin hon tokit halor ki ba bon ki jing kenno bam sam balayam dan ka jing tokit halor ka ni bale ka sarkar india kam shim khia halor ki ni ki jing bam trai kam ba Ula ong baka BJP ka sedang ban kedokti kum baka mdon benta ai ai hagi niki kam ki dai shi benta jong ka dai ka sorkar jilla kum no kin kin ran din yala di na ki niki jing le bakala. Took pride uh, of setting a new benchmark of governance. You know, I have always maintained that we have set a new benchmark of governance and we would like to see that we pursue this goal and objective that we target and higher and higher. Our targets should be set to achieve higher targets. Ambition must be there to ensure that the state is put at the highest pedestal, much better than other states, so that we can take pride in our own state. But today you have seen a police officer who is assaulted inside the police station. Huh? You have seen it? This has happened during the, this regime. Then you have seen what has happened across the state. The perpetrators of crime were also allowed to remain or rather go scot-free. And that creates that whole sense of impunity with which they engage in this kind of lawlessness. So restoring order is the responsibility of the government. Restoring order, sustaining such peace, which is an offshoot of a collective resolve of the people and the government. Where have these peace gone? Now, from the day one, didn't I tell that this government is inept in handling lawlessness? It has happened, it started in 2018. It didn't take long time for people to see their complete uh, lack of focus, lack of priorities. I will tell you with complete sense of responsibility that the leaders, the political, executives who are in the helm of affairs of governance have betrayed the people of the state. Why they have betrayed the people of the state? Why am I saying this? Because they have set other priorities. The priorities which are completely in deviation of the priorities which should revolve around the larger interests of the people and larger interests of the state. This is precisely the reason why you see lawlessness. Lawlessness. You know, now you're talking about police force. Have I not, on a number of counts, tried to draw the attention of the government, to caution the government towards the need to ensure that police force is not inflicted with politicization, to also engage in any kind of decision by the government in sifting police, transferring and postings of police, not for the purpose of public interest, but for other priorities and other reasons. I think you would be well able to interpret what I mean. You can read between the lines. So the question of the moral, the question of honesty, integrity, and the determination with which they should respond to their call of duty has got diluted, deviated. And this is due to the government's sifting of priority. The priority which is detrimental to the state and which is in complete deviation from the actual important priority which should revolve around nothing but the larger interests of the people and larger interests of the state. I'm sorry to see that, but I think you are seeing what I'm seeing. I'm not deaf, nor are you deaf. Not just now, even before this. It is not that this lawlessness and whatever is the ultimate culmination of this lawlessness and inaction or other lack of action from the side of the government, what we witness now. But then even before this, the 
Union government should have taken the cognizance of what is happening here. Have I not said that earlier also, that this government must go? There are irregularities, alleged irregularities, not just pertaining to what you see as an offshoot of that misgovernance. These are all fallout of certain instances of irregularities, alleged irregularities, which the government has embarked upon and have continued to engage in, thereby causing the kind of mess, thereby kind of, you know, uh, creating a situation where officers were misused. Misused. I'm telling you, the officers have been misused for other purposes. Now, therefore, I have always said, let there be independent inquiry pertaining to various other alleged irregularities, various other alleged instances of corruption. Why is there no investigation? Why have the government of India also not taken cognizance of those instances of irregularities? Because on number of issues pertaining to these alleged irregularities, there are funds which are accrued from government of India's exchequer for the purpose of those programs. And at the same time, there are certain issues which do not belong to state subject. They are central subject. Therefore, has government of India, the party which leads that government of India, Union government, BJP, have they not taken cognizance of these issues? Today, it's irony that the BJP is trying to point finger as though they were not part and parcel and integral part of this whole mess which has been created by the present incumbent government. They are part and parcel of the government. They are a member in the cabinet. So how can they insulate themselves? How can they, you know, disassociate themselves from all the wrongs? Therefore, all the parties, whoever are there, I, I am quite amazed to see that, okay, UDP and BJP, huh? countering each other's demand, claim. So, highly understand. The state doesn't de deserve this kind of political dispensation if we want the state to position itself in a manner that fulfills the aspirations and expectations of our people.